Hello, I'm Robert, and this time I'm going to talk about some more ways of making rhythms in Barnes Metronome. So, I'm, I'm going to get on to some of the more complex ones, and uh, like polyrhythms and polymeters and the Euclidean rhythms and all that stuff. But first of all, I'm just going to show you a one rhythm that it just doesn't really fit with anything else. So let's let's get that done first. So this is using the beats boxing. And so I'm pointing this out as probably a lot of you will look at this and think, well, you know, unless you are a beatboxer, you'll think, well, what, what's the interest in this? You know, why, why bother to include that, as it were? So apart from a few people who might want to use it for beatboxing, it does actually have another use as well. So if I set up the beatboxing example, like that, then what this does is it lets you make a, sim a, a sequence, a rhythm using a sequence of syllables, and those syllables set the instrument for each speech of the rhythm. So those are standard beatboxing syllables, and then and the slash there makes a new measure. <coughs> so the forward slash there makes a new measure. So now if we play it, you'll hear that each instrument is playing a different, is playing a different, each beat is playing a different instrument. So, uh, I'd, I'd say the, the instruments assigned to every single beat, and they're not all playing the same one. There the are some repeats, of course. So, you can use these symbols, these syllables here, that are the beat boxing syllables for those for various sounds. Now, a lot of them are just this, then sets up how the syllable is assigned to the actual instrument. And that selects an instrument from the menu. So, if you go to the percussion instrument menu, then whatever you have up there, then it'll select instru instruments from that menu. The, put it, anything that's got the word snare in it, it'll choose, the, choose that one. So and it could go, uh, it's got snare drum, it'll probably choose snare drum one, the first one it finds. <coughs> and so if you've got two of them, you could set one of those to snare drum one and one to snare drum two. Or, and, and so the thing is that that's the GI, GS standard kit, but you can also if you've got, depending on what kind of, what you've got attached to your MIDI, when you when you start sending it, playing it on different MIDI devices, musicians' devices, and so on, you can actually set. Sorry, I was looking in the wrong place. Instrument. Choose menu for percussion. That one. Then you can actually select different percussion menus here, depending on what instrument you're using it. For instance, if you're using drum core, if you're using studio drummer, or something like that. And you might have a different menu, and you can make your own custom menu. So many of these things, they're, ju they're just they're different syllables, but they all map to the snare because there's no distinction. But if you have a, a, an instrument kit that makes those distinctions, you can use it. You can put in the, the full name, and then and then you can add in your own custom syllable, you know, to to, to anything you like. So you could have, you know, let's say let's say that you want uh, uh, what have we got here? Percussion menu, instruments, percussion instruments. Sorry, I'm spending a bit of time on this. I don't want to spend too much time on this. But say you want to have metronome bell, okay? So we can just put MB. Let's go here. So using the wrong keyboard, MB equals metronome bell. And then you go up here. And you change that first one from B, or let's you know say the second of those two Bs. Change that to MB for metronome bell. And now if we play it, we should get a metronome bell at that point. Oh, I didn't do it. What have I done wrong? Um, I've got to click that. Make beatbox sounds for rhythm. Now it should do it. I haven't got auto remake when I did it put on there. So now play it. And there's playing a metronome bell. So in the same way, you can add any any shortcuts you like down there and to make whatever instruments you, you're interested in. So it, not, it doesn't need to be anything to do with beatboxing. You can just replace that whole thing by some other set of instruments. So that's quite useful if you frequently make rhythms that have instruments for every single beat. 
where you want to set the instruments for every single beat. And you can set the instruments, This the default is just to set the instruments for part one, but you can also set the instruments for several parts like that. And so you, you can also do that down here as well, with the right click on the instrument and you choose what you want it to be. And you, you want that to be high bongo, so there you go. And that does that. But this is a, a somewhat, can be sometimes a somewhat quicker way of doing it. So that combines rhythms together with instruments. But I don't want to be the main focus of this, so let's switch that off and um, make a new rhythm and then that should delete, get rid of it all. Right. I think, I'll, I, actually I, I've went on rather a long time about beatboxing with uh, things there. I think I'll just make this a separate video. It's, it's, lo it's quite short, but it's probably long enough to, to count the video, so I'll, I'll stop and go on to the next ones.